Hello, this is Max from the former Relevant YouTube channel bringing you the second video in the series Hunt for a Home. Today we are carrying on looking at various websites you can use on the internet to search for private rented accommodation. Today we're going to look at Open Rent, uh, which is a very good website. Um, as you can see, we're on the home page here and we're going to jump straight into making a search. So we begin by clicking in here and typing in our preferred area. We're going to go for Croydon. We're going to click search. And once we've done that, we will get a list of all available properties. So as we can see flashing here, we can see that there are 198 matched properties within seven kilometers of Croydon. Now, you can see that we have a little map here and under that we have all the available properties. Also take note on the left hand side of three sliders and something saying advanced search options. So we're going to look through these in turn. Now this web this sorry this map is quite useful. You can click and drag your preferred area. So what I mean by that is if we look at the circle at the moment we can see that all the properties that are coming up um, are shown on the map and specifically they're linked to Croydon you can just see the CR under there but if we want to expand our search we can simply click oh, not like that we can click on this and we can drag it and then we have a bigger circle and if we click update search using new area outline what it will do is it will redo your original search parameter but this time it will take into account a wider area on this map and as we can see there are now 378 matches for properties within 10 kilometers of Croydon so it's quite a handy tool this map what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna go back into this map and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller again because we do want to keep our search within Croydon just for the purposes of this video tutorial. Alternatively, if, if you don't like using the map, you can simply select a distance in this box here. Um, so you could lower it or make it higher. And then you can you can actually choose minutes or kilometers so for example if you wanted to live somewhere that's only 30 minutes from London Bridge for example you could click minutes put 30 and then you could type London Bridge in there for example so it's quite good if you're thinking about commutes to college or university or indeed to work now below the map you can see that there are all the listed properties that, have, that are coming up looking quite similar to other websites that are do something do something very similar to open rent okay so there are various properties coming up that are shared or flats or what have you and we can see that we've got a whole range of prices and what we're going to do is try and narrow that down a bit so first of all let's look at rent over here we have little sliders here that we can move up and down at the moment the minimum rent is 400 for any of these properties so that tells us there is no property listed with rent lower than 400 pounds the maximum is a staggering 3700 so that must be a mansion or something so we're gonna take the slider and we're gonna drag it down you can see the number decreasing and this is a bit tricky you need a, you need a decent mouse for this okay I'm gonna try and move it down to about seven. Oh gosh there we go 690 that will do it's close enough and when we've done that it updates our search immediately and we now have 54 matches we're going to look at bedrooms now so it's looking at shared houses studios or anything from one to five beds at the moment we're going to move that down in fact we're going to leave that alone actually no let's move it down to shared house studio or one bed and in fact it really doesn't make a difference bathrooms I don't know why they even bother with this um, 
So apparently something has six bathrooms. Why you would need six is beyond me, but hey ho. We're going to click on advanced search options now. And this brings up a little page where we can select some more options. So the top one, furnished or unfurnished. Do we want to find a property that already has furniture in it? I'm going to leave it as it is because it doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest. And then here are some good ones. Do they accept students or do they accept DSS, so universal credit or housing benefit? We're going to click yes for that. And then we can see we've got pets, bills, garden parking and a fireplace. You can even put in a time that you want to move in before if you've really got a deadline. Um, and you can select a fixed term that you'll be staying there. So if you know you want to be staying in a property for only nine months, you could click nine in there, for instance. And then finally, view options. If you click this, it will only show you available properties. So I think it makes sense to click that. And if you want to click that, it won't show you rent per month. It will show you it per week, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And then what you can do is you can sort by distance or price, low to high, or price, high to low. I'm going to go for list by price low to high and then I'm going to click update and there you go it recalculates it and it gives us six matches and we can see them on the map we can see where they are sort of in Croydon Ooh, me. let's move that out a bit more and as you would probably expect they're not that central to Croydon. Central Croydon is really where it's expensive. We've got something in Sutton, a few around Mitcham, and a few towards Dulwich Village, which is a very nice part of the world. Okay. So now we go down and we can see the results that we have, all six of them. So here's the cheapest, £450. And that's a shared house in SM5, so that will be this one in Sutton. And then we've got some more further down. Again, they're, as I suspected, they're all going to be shared properties. There aren't too many one-bed flats on this website, or studios indeed. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into one and look at what happens next. So say, for example, if you're interested in this one here, so a shared house in CR4. Um, so that's £542 a month. It's furnished and it has one bathroom. So we're going to click on it, and when you click on it, you come up with this screen, and this will be the same for any property. Um, there are a few photos, so we can have a look at those. If you were to move into here, you could help the chap or chapess out with their washing up by the looks of it. There's the bathroom, there's a toilet, and if they're showing this bedroom, I suspect this would probably be the room you'd be renting. So it's a decent size. Probably needs a bit of an update with decoration though. Under the photos we have a description of the property, which is fairly self-explanatory. It says when the room is available, so from the 1st of June. Um, and as you can see it tells you all the features. So the minimum tenancy is six months. There's this four bedroom property, so if you were to live here you'd be sharing with probably three other people. There's a deposit of £500. It is student friendly and as we know because of our search it accepts the uh, landlord even accepts benefits. Okay if we grow up, go up here up here we can see it says per month if you hover over it we can see the weekly cost of the rent which is £125 and down here this is key for this website open rent no admin fees so there are never any admin fees on this website which is really good that saves you a bit of money um, and there are no hidden charges so everything's pretty upfront you know what you're paying straight from the off now you can see there are some options here so if you were interested in this property you'd probably want to click book viewing and get in contact with the landlord to arrange a viewing um, if you had, say, gone for a viewing on this property and you quite liked it, you don't want to hit Rent Now. And what this does is it throws us into OpenRent's quite unique system, which is to pretty much do all of the renting process over the internet. Okay, So you can place your holding deposit 
which will eventually contribute to your first month's rent as well. You can do that online. The referencing, if the landlord wants a reference for you to make sure that you're not going to blow the property up, then that will be requested of you through the website on here. And then after you've done that, Open Rent and its uh, its team will sort everything else out. And then if you're happy, at the bottom it says, "Are you ready?" You can click here to rent now and start the process. So it's pretty simple. This website, it's effective, and I like it. We're going to leave it there, and next time on our series of videos, we'll be looking at a, another website.